Hello guys, what's up? Um, great tutorial here about the uh, my first transition tutorial. It's the radio blue transition, and this is what we're gonna be doing today. It's like um, um, as you see here, it's like um, a twixer comes and the other clip comes out with a radio blur transition. So it's not really good in the in After Effects, I mean, I made it to third, but let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm gonna delete all of that. Um, first of all, I got my clip over here, just a normal clip, uh, and but in one place I made it Twixter over here, maybe. I made it Twixter over here, so um, you just need two clips: um, the first one with a little Twixter on it, and the second one. Just make it on top, and I'm just I'm gonna make it to the. You just need to th search um, the part that you want to um, to mask. I want to mask, for example, this the gun over here. So I'm just gonna do a right click. Um, first of all, you need to place the, the second clip in the place you want it to start. So just find that place you want to uh, find the part you want to mask and just right click time freeze frame and pick your uh, mask tool and just mask anything you want you may not have this uh, gun you may have a sniper you may have the UV hand you may have um, maybe uh, if you want to mask out a map a whole map it's really easy Please, I'm just doing this so fast, so please do this better than me. I'm doing fast for the sake of the tutorial. So, um, this should probably suck. Yeah. Um, shit. Yeah, um, we're done with this. Um, to make this a little better, so go over the clip and click M two times. Um, click mm and you see the moth feather make it 11 so it's a little better so now what you want to do is go to the first frame of the clip and just um, click on this clip and click this button over here just click anywhere in the port uh, click anywhere in the gun and hold shift and make it go down now click P for position keyframe move where you want this to end I just make it about uh, like a second or something this is good and just click on the clip again and click shift and drag it all the way up yeah so here we are um, let's do this it's like coming up you know um, yeah we're halfway over so now what you need to do is um, and um, click on you uh, um, and highlight these um, positions and F9 so we easy ease them and now um, just get uh, end the clip where you want this to end I want to end it over here for example I want the transition to end over here. Now get the same clip and uh, search the part that is, uh, I mean, after your gun, after the gun masking. So probably over here. Now and uh, begin alt and begin bracket to end it, to start it up and make your clip. Uh, I mean like this you know um, make this clip after this clip <laughs> it's hard to explain but I think you understand me now what will this do is like um, it's it's done up and it's raising up and then the whole clip is starting so now what we'll need to do is add the radial blur so layer new adjustment layer type in the effects and presets radial blur over here, on the, uh, put it on the adjustment layer, 
and uh, see where you want the radio blade to start I would like to start it over here for example 0 and the amount to set it to 0 keyframe and move where you want the radio blur to end I just make it I like it over here maybe yeah this is good 15 uh, set the amount to 15 move up to another uh, two frames forward and make it to 0 so what will this do is um, um, the clip um, is here it's fast enough and suddenly um, the twixter comes yeah I mean uh, the twixter comes out and the transition comes in it's not uh, that good I mean you can do better than me but I'm doing this fast for the sake of the video and time so yeah, that's uh, today's tutorial. Tomorrow's tutorial or something I'm gonna make um, how to render an After Effects in Sony Vegas. Yeah, um, thanks for watching guys. Peace.